Unstair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. Police in Bloomington now say the Hannah Wilson murder case has reignited interest in the almost four-year-old case of missing IU sophomore Lauren Sparer. Iowa News reporter Jeremy Brilliant is in Bloomington tonight live with more on the tips police have now received in just the last few days. Jeremy? John and Andrea, at this point, Bloomington police emphasize there is no link between these two very high-profile cases, but the arrest of Daniel Messel has a lot of people asking a lot of questions. On Kirkwood near the IU campus, an area once dotted with posters soliciting tips about Lauren Spear, now nearly four years after the 20-year-old went missing, not a single flyer. And it's almost like she went, like, topic of Lauren Spear went away for a while and then it's back with the whole Hannah Wilson thing. The murder investigation of IU senior Hannah Wilson and subsequent arrest of Daniel Messel has given police new leads. We are going to try to find out as much about the individual as we can. Bloomington police say they've seen a spike in the number of spear-related tips in recent days, ever since they announced detectives were looking at any possible connection of Messel to the spear case. Um, not all of the information has been specific to uh, him, but it certainly has been related to Lauren Spear's investigation. Police don't deny there are striking similarities between the two cases. Both involved young female co-eds. Both disappeared in the same part of Bloomington, and both disappeared in the early hours of a Thursday morning. A former co-worker of Messel said the 49-year-old often spoke explicitly about teenage girls or young women. I could sense, uh, you know how you just sense something about somebody. I could sense there was something about him. And then he started talking about young girls all the time, like young girls that weren't even of age. And, and I thought, he's mentally sick. Police say it's too early to know if the two cases are connected. But many here hope the new leads will help solve the Lauren Spear mystery. I think everyone's heart is for that to be resolved. Um, but I don't know necessarily what the odds of that happening are. June 3rd will mark the four-year anniversary of the disappearance of Lauren Spear. Bloomington police not calling this a cold case. In fact, they say this is a very active, ongoing investigation and has been ever since June 2011. John and Andrea. And that investigation continues. Thank you, Jeremy.